Greetings, Love Gospel Assembly, family, and friends. The nugget of hope for today is giving to the needy. The scripture is Matthew chapter 6, 1 to 4. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others, to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Giving helps others. Acts chapter 2, verse 44, verse 45. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. Giving reflects God's love. 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, verse 18. If someone has enough money to, to live well and sees a brother or sister in need but shows no compassion, how can God's love be in that person? Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other. Let us, let us show the truth by our actions. Our actions will show that we belong to truth. So we will be confident when we stand before God. Setting pride aside and humbling ourselves before the King. So many of us are just living for what people are saying about us. We are just living for us to be the one to change somebody else's life. For us to be the one who did it. But it's not anything about us. We could not do anything without the Lord. Once you get up on, on the pulpit, whether it's leading worship or preaching, if you begin to think, that any of the work in the Lord was from you. If you're up there without God, he will remove you or remove his hands so fast from you. I believe our generation is so hungry to do missions and to work and to do all these things for the Lord and preach and teach all the things of God. But would they still be hungry if they couldn't if they couldn't post it on social media would they still be hungry if thousands weren't watching them so many of us are hungry but we aren't even in the secret place with god when no one can see us god will reward you when you are in that secret place with him God is the reward. Get in a secret place with him. Get personal with him when no one is watching. A heart posture. God always deals with the heart as it is the core of our being. You can present a good outward appearance. You can speak eloquently. You can give it all but still be vile and evil. God deals with the heart. Ask yourself these questions in situations that you're unsure of. Why am I doing this? Or what spirit is driving behind this? Would I like what I'm doing to be done to me? Or is this what Jesus would do? Remember, he washed Judas' feet and walked with him for years. This can help us find alignment with God. When doing good, being giving, listening, spreading the good news, etc., it must never be about you, 
but it must be about God and His will than about the people or person you are responding to. How much are our good acts of service and attempts at a righteous life for the approval and praise of people? If dug up and looked at the roots of where they come from, does the root lead to a heart where the eyes of God are enough or does the root lead to a heart that needs to be loved and accepted by a people who didn't create us? God is the creator of humility. And one example of Jesus' humility is when Jesus turned water into wine. He did it so lowly. When the miracle was performed, at the wedding, it was the bridegroom who was praised for the wine tasting even better than before. They had no idea it was Jesus, the literal, the literal maker of the wine. The guests didn't know they had just swallowed a miracle. Jesus stood completely content, not sharing his glory and even released the glory to someone who didn't deserve the credit. Again, how much are our good acts of service and attempts at a righteous life are for the approval and praise of people? Were we or are we content with only the Father's eyes? Another example of humility is John the Baptist. The greatest of the prophets, Luke chapter 7, 28. He had an opportunity to signal his virtues when approached by the priests and Levites in John chapter 1, verse 19 to 21. When John was asked, who are you and what do you say about yourself? He could have waxed eloquent about his morals, pointed to the great works he was doing, or in some other way signal his virtue. Instead, John said, I am the voice of one calling in the wilderness. Make straight the way for the Lord. John chapter 1 verse 23. He then pointed people away from himself and toward Jesus Christ, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie in verse 23. I'm sorry, verse 27. May we learn the same humility. Jesus tells us to not do righteous things for the sake of display or image. Although Christians are to be seen doing good works, they must not do good works simply to be seen. A light to the world, but one with a heart after God's own heart. The two main characters in every generosity story are God, who gives us what we have to offer in the first place, and the person who receives our generosity. The truth is, we play a supporting role in how God blesses someone. When we give with stealth, without our left hand knowing what our right hand is doing. We avoid the temptation of hypocrisy and lay up a truly priceless reward in eternity. We are to proclaim not our own righteousness, but Christ. Philippians chapter 3 verse 9. I no longer count on my own righteousness to obeying the law, rather I become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. Our giving is never to be out of constraint or pressure. Love must be the only motivator for Christian service. Consider whether you seek fulfillment from the world or from God. 
The glory of the world is like a sky rocket. Everyone goes out to see to see it. There's ooing and eyeing. Then it is over. It is shallow. It passes so rapidly. Giving that God appreciates is when you do it secretly, without publicity. In fact, no one else should know about it. Do it out of genuine concern for people and as a service to God who watches everything. This kind of giving is what pleases God. Give out of compassion and sympathy. Jesus makes it very clear that ministry that comes from the heart's desire is more valuable to him than public service for recognition. This portion of scripture also indicates rewards are given for both types of ministry. But one comes from earth, which can be defiled, and one comes from heaven, which is good and has sustainability. Jesus is teaching us how to appropriate value when it comes to both ministry and reward. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, I hope this was a blessing to you all. Have a wonderful, safe day. Thank you for joining us in this week's Nuggets of Hope. We hope you continue to join us and we hope that you are blessed by each teaching. You can join us on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. God bless you.